I'm Harry Clay. I, I went to Cliff in 1952. Well, we walked and the, uh, of course we had a cart. I, I don't know if anybody knows anything about the carts, but uh, the, the original carts were, were, were quite small, but by the time, uh, the time it got to our days, they were quite, they were quite posh actually. Uh, we had a, they, they were quite big and you had cupboards in the, at the back and cupboards at the front and then the sides lifted up and you put your, we had our bedding, so we had to put all, we had to roll our bedding up and, and sleeping bags and we didn't have many possessions because uh, apart from a Bible and a few, book, few books, that was all we had. There was a, a man working in the fields and he, 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 they, they knew about cliff trekkers in those days, even the public, and he, he was working in the fields and he, he just looked up and he saw us and he, wa he ran across and waved to us, Hello, how are you? Where are you going to? Oh, you're going to Bryn? Oh, I, w I went to Bryn for my holidays last year. And my memories of old Ghoul is that uh, there was a man there called Joy, and he was a cobbler. On the Monday morning when we were leaving old Ghoul, we would walk past his shop, and we all started singing, I've got the joy, 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 darling, my heart. <laughs> and he came to the door because he been joy, and he waved us off. I mean, nowadays you couldn't possibly you couldn't possibly kneel down and pray in the middle of the road. And nowadays, but we used to do. I mean, at twelve o'clock every day, we we had, we had a, a prayer meeting uh, wherever we were. And uh, if it was in the middle of the road, well, we we stopped and we gathered there for prayer. Now, before every evening meeting, we used to sing a song. We used to sing. We had what we called our trek song out of the ivory palaces into the world of war. I don't know, it's, it's an old song. Some of the older people will remember it. But, and we, that was our, our theme song. And we sang that first at the beginning of the service. It, well, when we were at Bridlington, we were, we were on the front, actually on the promenade, which is a, a, a good site, where hundreds of people were there watching at that, in those days. They, because it was a, their holiday, but even so, uh, they used to go watch, listen, watch the, or listen to the cliff men. And of course, uh, they were not just the cliff men because there were quite a lot of famous preachers of those that, that they came. On the top row, I remember they were standing back on the railings at the top and there was a young man listening to us. And when they made an appeal, we saw this young man come down and he came down and knelt on the, on the carpet in front of the box. Uh, and he was, he, was, he was really converted. Now, unfortunately, that young man was due to be in court the day after. And so Viv Evans, who was one of the evangelists, uh, he was one of the senior evangelists who had come out with us, he went to court with him. And uh, the lad was put on probation and he came back. It was always towards the end of the trek and he came back to the Derwent Convention, which was being held shortly after the trek. The, the trek itself just broadened my faith and then, of course, it was, as I say, it was the first term, but that, from that I had to build on to my year, actually a year in college. Well, it, 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 was, a, it was a foundation for me, really. I mean, the, I, I grew from there. I mean, of course, the college, uh, all the lectures started to become real to me and, well, I learned the Bible, <laughs> and that's the main thing. Mm -hmm.